What's up, you guys? My name is Gina Janine. If you are new here, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. All right, so this portion of today's vlog is sponsored by DY Hair 777. I have worked with them plenty of times in the past. You can check out old videos of mine. I've worked with them a ton. They have beautiful hair. They never let me down. And I have a surprise for you guys. I am reviewing two wigs today. Not one, but two. So these are those easy breezy get up and go wigs. So if you want to see how they look and how easy they are to style, stay tuned. Okay, so I don't even have to do a sped up part for this because y'all look what I got. I got a baseball cap wig. I have been wanting to try these out for the longest. They are extremely popular right now on YouTube. So I definitely wanted to try this out and I'm able to show you guys. So we're gonna get to see how this looks together, okay? Now on the website, there were many options of hats. There were at least, I want to say, 20 different colors and styles and designs of hats. And then of course, there were different textures of the hair. There was curly hair, there was straight hair, there was body wave hair. I mean, you can literally customize your cap unit how you want it. Okay, let me put this in here so I can adjust it for my big old head. Okay, so this is how it looks just straight on my head. This is, let's see the length on me. Oh yeah, it's long, long, long. Of course, I will have all the details of this unit and the next one in the description box, so do not pass that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and break apart these curls just because to me, they're just too structured. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Wow, all I really need to do is just bring some of my sideburn down. I really don't even have to, but. Wow, y'all. Let me back up some. This is crazy. You mean to tell me I can go to the grocery store and go get gas looking cute? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna see how it looks behind my ears. See if that's a vibe or or what okay yeah you can put it behind your ears if you want to like i said i just need some gel for my sideburns and then baby i am ready to go i am highly impressed let's see if the hair shed give it some tugs <laughs> uh, got like two strands that's completely normal y'all they done got them one they done got them one, wow. The hat fits good. There were different sizes of the hats. Like I said, so many different styles of hats. I mean, ones that were like jazzy with jewels, animal prints and everything. Or you can just get plain ones. Wow. Shiny, waves, literally you don't have to do anything to it. You don't have to curl it. You don't have to flat iron it. You don't have to do anything, baby. This is just get up and go here, go to the gym, go run your errands. I'm impressed. I'm impressed and I'm excited. Oh, wow. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I will be wearing this to my doctor's appointment. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, all right, let me try on the next one. Okay, let's see if this next one can top that first one because that first one just had me just like so geek, so excited. Now we have a headband wig. I know you guys have been seeing this all over. These are like extremely popular. These have just been really, really, really changing the game, taking over for literally the past few weeks. I have seen nothing but headband wigs on YouTube. So let's put it on and see if it's gonna give me that same effect. Oh, and guys, let me show you that what it comes with. It already comes with just a plain black headband on, which you can use. And then it comes with two other headbands. And then they also sent just some cute little diamond hair clips. So yeah, let's put this on. I think I'm gonna have to brush my edges for this one. I can't, I can't be lazy with this one, let's see. Oh, 
All right, guys, she is on. Okay, another easy breezy unit. All I had to do was just flick around the edges right here, did some little baby hairs, the forehead is out. <laughs> the forehead is out. You can, of course, you wanna bring the headband down to where no baby hairs, no edges are gonna show. You can definitely do that. But I was like, hmm, let me just put a little, little something, something on there. And y'all, the only thing I regret, the only thing is not getting a longer length. This length is cool, it's giving me soccer mom. It's giving me like business office, I'm a secretary. It, that's just what it's giving, but it's still giving cute. Um, I would have liked it to be maybe five inches longer. That's just me, but I ain't mad at it. I, I am not mad at it. Okay, and it did come with other headbands, so let's see how these look. Let's see. Can y'all not tell that I'm so excited? Oh, it comes with a black. Okay. I, I'm thinking that this is just the black and then you get other ones, but okay. Here's just a black one. Let's put it on and see how it looks. Oh, okay, so that's a lot thicker. That's thick, thick. Feels super cute. Yo, this is so, oh my God, this is so cute. All right, then the next one we have is an animal print. Okay, here's the animal print. Ooh, this material is really soft. Ooh, really soft and stretchy. Ooh, I need some leggings like this. Okay, let me take this one off. This is just so cool, so convenient, like wow. How come they didn't think of this earlier? Like this just seems like it should be something that should have been in the wig world forever ago. Unless I'm just late. Oh, cute. Mm, cute. And because it goes all the way around to the back and covers up the back of your hair, you can wear this pulled up. You can wear it in a high bun. Cute. Wear it in a high bun, just like so easy breezy. Guys, make sure you check out DY Hair 777. I will have the link straight to these units down below, the link straight to their website, a coupon code, of course, so you can save some money on your unit. And guys, if you're considering buying anything from their website, definitely check out these two units. Like just something different, fun, and easy. Look at this. So don't skip the description box and let me know what you think of this unit in the comments down below. All right guys, stay tuned for the vlog. So I gotta go get another COVID test. I literally just had one two weeks ago, but they can't use that one, which I mean, I understand, but damn. So I'm headed to do that right now. Y'all. This is literally my fourth, fifth? fourth or fifth COVID test. I know there's some people out there that have never had one, which is like kind of crazy to me because I think everyone should have at least tested once or twice. But um, yeah, so I'm about to go get my brain rocked again and oh Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. So they need it for surgery. My surgery is Friday, today is Tuesday. I'll do that I think I might go run some errands I need to run to Ross maybe I don't I ain't got to do it today I don't know depends on how I feel after this COVID test <laughs> that mess just be putting you in a bad mood and then you just you don't feel the same for like a little while after so oh my gosh Give me some type of stand for this thing because there we go how do y'all like my hair to me i love the color but it just washes me out like now i look super pale like where is my melanin okay the ambulance bay what the heck is an ambulance bay the Hello. Are you here for your COVID test? Yes. Okay, if you take a pool over here, let me just give, uh, get your driver's license. Driver's license? Yeah. 
<laughs> now I heard of some people having to do it like stick the stick in their nose themselves. I can't, bro. I can't do that. Like I do not think I'm gonna be able to. And then I hear some people they had to do it in both nostrils. I hear some people they do it in their nostrils and the, in the back of their throat. Like, I don't know, it's too much. It's too much! Are they about to bring a person out of this ambulance? Oh, they are. Oh, my car ain't in the way. Here she come, my God. Thank you. This is how to access your results online. Okay. Thank you. Have you had done? Oh, I've had it done like five times. Okay. <laughs> The, uh, because this is for surgery. Yes. I have surgery. Does this get sent to the doctor? It will send to our. Um, all right. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. That's you a message maybe you will get that message that was me okay okay yeah all thank right thank you thank you have a good day thanks. you too about this cake that I need to try. It's called Chantilly Cake. She said, it's gonna change your whole life. So, I'm about to go give me a slice. Hopefully they sell it by the slice and not in a full cake. Cause I definitely don't need a full cake in my house. I just wanna try it. But she says it's so good that she's literally been eating it almost every day for the past week and a half. So, it's kinda scary that it's that good like try these moon grapes they look good but that is so GMO then the cotton candy grapes if I was in Walmart I'd dig my hand in here and try one but mm -hmm, we in Whole Foods I can't go do that so messed up they don't have their hot food and salad bar anymore I used to love it oh my god I think this is the Chantilly cake this is what it looked like online is this it? Yep. That's it. $3.50 for this little tiny thing. I'm glad it's expensive because I will not be coming back to get it all the time. <laughs> this looks good. I don't know what this is. Oh, carrot cake. Okay. This is bomb. I used to get this all the time. Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake is my favorite cake. If y'all ever, if y'all want to make me one and send it to your girl, I'll take it. What is these? Almond cake. Oh my God, cookie butter apple cake. Why did I have to see this? Okay, I'm getting a slice. Oh my God. Their tres leche is the bomb. Not Tres Leche, I'm tripping. Their Tres Leche probably is the bomb, but I meant uh, the tiramisu. Their tiramisu is amazing. Now what is this? Oh, just a regular cheesecake? Okay, this is enough. And I got a croissant, an almond croissant. Getting some 
arugula. My mom used to love this stuff, so just in memory of her, I'm gonna get it. I think I'm gonna put the croissant back though. I think I'm gonna put the almond croissant back. Oh, do they have it? Is this what I used to get? All right, all right, so this is my cart. And of course, I had to get a water to wash things down. But uh, y'all are not eating all this in one day. I'll probably eat this in maybe two days. <laughs> See, I think I got a fork in the car. Got to keep you some plastic wear in the car. Let me try this Chantilly cake because this is the whole reason I even went to Whole Foods. And my homegirl, she's like, let me know your review. Let me know your review. Turn it down. So this is what it looks like, guys. Let me show y'all. I'm sure most of y'all know what Chantilly cake looks like. I'm probably the late one to the party if I can get it open all right so it's just like white cake with a layer of like berries in the middle I'm not big on fruit in my cake but she says it's amazing and I trust her judgment y'all know I smell my food I always smell my food before I eat it oh yes ma'am yes ma'am that is good Mm. and the fruit is like semi-frozen you got like a little crunch to it mm. okay. enough of that let me try one of these rugulas I got walnut rugula they had apricot apricot walnut raspberry Raspberry is the one that my mom used to love. Mmm. Okay. The arugula is very good. I don't think I had anything from Whole Foods that wasn't good, to be honest with you. Since I'm on a roll of tasting everything, I might as well taste this one too. That arugula is very good. It's a little hard. They must pre-cook these. I mean, like, put them in the freezer and then put them out to thaw or something. Give it one more go. I don't know. Think about that first bite. It's good. It's different. Um, having apples in a cake is different. You're used to that with, like, apple pie. Um... The icing tastes like cookie butter icing. I won't be buying this one again. No. Now I'm at Saks Offset. Lord knows I don't need to be shopping. <laughs> this hair is growing on me. That actually, that little hair flip look cute. Be I'm at Saks Fifth. I just ordered a bunch of stuff online from them last night and now I'm here. Why, I don't know. I'm in the men's section. I ordered two um, men's helmet lang t-shirts last night. They were $80 each and they're originally $220. So y'all know me, I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna tie them up, wear them with some leggings or some high waist jeans or something. But um, so yeah, I'm about to see, I'm like, let me see what they got in store. And they had an MCM tote that literally looks just like um, my Neverfull. But I want to give my Neverfull a rest just because these cost so much money. And me wearing it every day just like wears it down. And that MCM was 50% uh, off. So I think I'm going to go ahead and probably go get it. Not go get it, but order it. It was online. They got Valentino slides. What? How much are these? $100. It's not bad. See, I always go to Nordstrom Rack, which is right next door, and I never come in here. But I'm probably going to start coming in here now. Do y'all still rock Michael Kors? Or no? 
I be seeing some cute Michael Kors stuff, but then I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I should do it. These are cute. Fendi sneakers. That's a no. They got Gucci. You could tell it's like last season. Still some. Mm, I think that one's kind of new at the top. I'm in Forever 21 now. Their stuff has changed so much. Like nothing is my style. Like, what is that? They have music playing, so I'm not gonna record much in here. Okay, I'm leaving the mall, y'all. Let me tell y'all what's so crazy. If you remember in my last, not last vlog, but vlog before last, like two vlogs ago, I was at the mall and I went to Sabaro and they would not let me use my free pizza coupon. So I came to this mall and y'all, why I order my Sabaro and I check my email and the email is like mysteriously gone literally i went to the trash i went to i, I typed in sabaro and, and it's literally gone that's karma i already know because in that video i said oh i'm about to use it up as many times as i can because they want to play with me and now it is literally gone so i'm like that sucks i couldn't get any free pizza so has that ever happened to y'all where an email literally disappears? I'm like, how is it not, like, it's not in the trash, it's not in my inbox, and I know I didn't delete it. Crazy. Oh well, that just means I ain't need it. That's all that means, I ain't need it. All right, it's seven o'clock, and I didn't get nothing from Forever 21. They had some, um, some really cute jeans, but the dressing rooms, Oh, my camera's about to die. But the dressing rooms are closed and the jeans were on sale. So if I brought them home and they didn't fit, I wouldn't be able to try them. I wouldn't, ugh. I wouldn't be able to return them because Forever 21 only gives you refund on full price items. So I put them back and they were really cute. They looked like they were gonna fit, but it was just like, ugh, I don't know, I don't know. Can't believe my battery's about to die. That sucks. I need to start keeping a charged battery in my purse every time I leave the house and I decide to vlog. Y'all, I'm just pulling up at home. I'm sorry, it's dark. I parked in my garage. But I am just pulling up at home and I see two huge boxes on my doorstep. I'm about to be super pissed if this is my $1,000 tennis shoe sitting on my doorstep that y'all don't require a signature and y'all just put it on my doorstep, I'm about to be pissed if this is them. Okay, one's an Amazon box. I think this is my couch cover. Let me see who this one, Nordstrom. Nordstrom, really? thousand dollar tennis shoes and y'all just put it on my y'all don't even try to hide it behind anything like it's literally just sitting in the oh lord Ooh, i need to stop complaining and just be happy that i got it but what the hell anything over five hundred dollars i thought I had to be signed for like am i tripping and might i add it's been storming all day today so the boxes are a little bit damp. I just had to let y'all know. So thanks to you guys, y'all told me for my couch upstairs where it's tearing, y'all told me to get a couch cover and I didn't even think about that. So that's what I ordered. I'm about to go put this on right now. So I got a black slip cover. That's how it looks. Jeez. These are the shoes 
I got some more Balenciaga. These are the, can y'all see? This light is bright, bright. So these are the cream and gold Balenciagas. I have the white and silver ones, and I got cream and gold. They pretty, oh, Ooh, I almost lost my balance. All right, so this is how the couch currently looks, y'all. I wish I had clips of it before when it was in my bedroom at the other house. None of this was here, none. But then the movers did this and it was actually tiny. It was probably literally only a quarter of that size and it was on the arm over there. But these children have ripped extra holes. Like this is crazy. You see the little black dots all over the ground? That's from them. Anyway, this couch is very old, so I do have to give them the benefit of the doubt. I've had this couch probably about eight years, and it's cheap. It's not real leather, so got to give them, give them the benefit of the doubt. See, like this, this is real leather. This was my mom's. She got it. Um, I don't remember where she got it, but anyway, this was my mom's, and that's real leather. Me, on the other hand, eight years ago, I bought this little plastic bit. A uh, blend whatever it's called so they claim it's uh real leather mixed with fake leather i don't know how true that is but that's how they sold it to me all right let's get it on y'all can see wow thank you guys i did not think to get one until i read the comments that's black panther right here <laughs> let me put him right there y'all oh my gosh <gasps> i'm so happy now i won't have black stuff all over my carpet Wow, so all of you guys that didn't know, you can buy a $30 couch cover off of Amazon. If your couch isn't damaged, just put a couch cover on it and you can change the, they had like 10 different colors and it looks good. Now I wouldn't have this in my living room, okay? But for a game room that's upstairs that no one's gonna see except for the kids, this is cool, like this, this works. This works. Just put some chicken in the air fryer. I think that's all I'm gonna eat is some chicken. I might open a can of beans or something. But that's about as fancy as it's gonna get cause it's already 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. I'm really supposed to be in bed by now. But uh, I kinda got a burst of energy because I took like an hour and a half nap this afternoon. That rain was coming down so hard. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm almost done with the Chantilly cake. It tastes so much better room temperature. Like, so much better. Ooh, this cake is so good. Uh. Mm. So I just paid all my utility bills for the month. There's something else that I kind of want to order online, but I don't need it, Lord. I don't. I need somebody to take away my debit card and tell me, no, stop. Stop, Gina, stop. <laughs> But yeah, so while this is cooking, I'm gonna cook it 20 minutes on each side just so it can be like crispy, crispy. Well, maybe 20 minutes on one side and then about like 10 or 15 on the other side. Mm, and I guess watch some YouTube videos. Y'all know my routine. My routine like does not change. Watch YouTube videos. Uh, I don't have anything to edit probably respond to some emails because this is around the time that um, overseas companies start sending their emails and negotiations and all this and that. So I think that's what I'm about to do. So I'm trying to hang, ooh, trying to hang some pictures in the dining room. I'm trying to watch Tay and look at, <laughs> So I'm trying to watch a Glamazon Tay and hang up pictures in the dining room. I already have that picture hung up. It just looks so small. 
It looks so small on these huge walls. Then I'm about to hang this one up now. This was my mom's favorite painting. She thought it, it reminded her of herself. It's a, um, a Picasso painting. I don't really like it that much, but my mom really liked it. And it matches with what's going on in here. So I'm about to hang it real quick. I mean, it's cool. I will show you y'all. I don't want to. I will show y'all, but I don't want to show too much because I will be giving a furnished house tour probably in the next few weeks, probably in the next like month. So I don't know about that one. <coughs> I'm going to let it marinate. I'm gonna let it marinate because I'm not sure. I, I just feel like these two pictures don't go together. They match, they both match the room, but they don't go together. So yeah. Y'all, this is so ghetto. This is all I'm eating. I ain't make no side. <laughs> I got my barbecue sauce, I got my hot sauce, I got my Minute Maid Zero Sugar, and I'm watching YouTube. Y'all, th this is dinner. Quick dinner, it's 10.40. I need to be in bed in the next 25, 30 minutes. So this is just what it is. <laughs> My kids were here. I would not make a dinner like this. I would never make a dinner like this for no man, my kids, nothing. But since it's just me, like I'm okay with just eating. I ate cake as an appetizer and just chicken as my dinner. Like I'm okay with this. So anyways, let me enjoy. Y'all don't judge, okay? Hey y'all, can y'all see me? It is Wednesday. I got off work early today as usual. We only had one patient. Um, I am now headed to the doctor because I think I have an infection or ingrown nail, I don't know. But my toenail is like lifting and hurts so bad y'all like I, I when I got my pedicure done like a week ago and when he took my nail polish off I was like hmm that's odd like a third of my toenail was kind of like white and like lifting a little bit but me I didn't feel no pain nothing no secretions whatever I ain't think nothing ever go ahead and do my pedicure and paint that thing that's that's exactly what how I treated it so fast forward about four days after that, I'm like, oh, my toe hurts. Like, that's weird. Like, why my toe hurting? The next day after that, my toe was in excruciating pain, like swollen, tender to the touch. It hurt when I would walk. Like the next day after that, that shit woke me up out of my sleep, which was not yesterday, not last night, but the night before last, woke me up out of my sleep to where I was like almost in tears. Last night woke me up out of my sleep in tears. So needless to say, I'm going to see my PCP right now. But I actually made an appointment to see a podiatrist for tomorrow. They didn't have any um, appointments today. But I was like, let me go ahead and see my PCP today and I can just pay, you know, my regular like $20 copay. And she might be able to, to give me some medicine or do something for it to where I don't have to um, pay that almost $80 copay to go see a specialist. So that was my mindset. So that was my mindset going into it. Like, you know, even though she's just a general physician, I'm sure she deals with people who've had like a, a toenail infection or whatever. So I don't know how that happened. I guess it happened getting pedicures done and them not properly cleaning the tools. I don't know, but this is a first. And I've been getting pedicures since I was, I don't know, 18. So, <sighs> sucks. Oh, 
sorry y'all i meant to film inside the doctor's office but they just took me back so quick and in the little time that i was waiting i was online shopping <laughs> so yeah let me show y'all can i show y'all my foot i'm not flexible so i can't even bring my foot up uh, i'll show y'all later lord but anyway i have a nail bed infection she said it was called something 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 i can't even remember the name but um she called in my prescription she said no pedicures for a month and i need to be on this antibiotic for a week i need to go to kinko's i need to go to zara i need to go to at home dds ross so i got some places to go y'all want to come with me to these places it's boring but y'all want to come with me all right, so I'm getting this basket to like put um, throw blankets in. This is the one I'm returning, the gray one, because it doesn't go good. But this is the one I'm gonna get for throw blankets. And then I saw these. I thought they would look cute. Look. Like a little nook space. And I was gonna put these three there. So I think that's cute. They're kind of expensive though. 20 $20 for this, $20 for that. So we'll see how that looks. I think it's gonna be nice. They have a bar cart too. It's cute, but it's so small. For $130, for it to be this small, I don't know. It seemed like it should be a little bit cheaper. I'm really, I'm, I'm debating on getting it instead of ordering it from Wayfair. I don't know. Seem a little wobbly. Mm. The line is so long. Oh my God. Thank you. You don't have any sweet heat? Yeah, and then ketchup. Well, you know what, tartar sauce. Tartar sauce, yeah. Thank you. me some Popeye shrimp and I gotta go in Didi so I'm just gonna park right in the front of Didi well I'm gonna park like on the side of Didi so I can eat real quick and then go in and do this exchange ah shoot damn these are little little shrimp that is tiny that's smaller than popcorn shrimp. I swear Dee Dee sells everything. I swear Dee Dee sells everything. Look at that, that's a good price too. For all these Colgate toothbrushes. this stuff in my basket that I don't need. Put an antenna in Ethan's room because I'm not paying for an extra box. That's a good price for this. And it's 10 feet. That's good. I'll put that in my office. It's cute, but I don't like these flowers. The flowers are throwing me off. Oh, this is so cute. It's one of those mesh shirts. So cute. Dee Dee's is the truth. Here's a maroon one. These are cute for the winter time before it gets too, too cold. Wear a cute bralette underneath it with like a, a biker jacket. So cute. Where else can you find a full workout set for five dollars? Full set. And they have so many. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't sleep on Dee Dee's. 
good quality midi dress. Good quality. I wish y'all could feel how thick and good this is. And it's one of those like um, off the shoulder dresses. I like this brand too. Derek Hart. $5.99. And they have it in mustard. So pretty. The color is not coming out on camera, but y'all, this is so pretty. It's gold. Oh, I wish I could wear something like this. This is this is for girls who aren't very real curvy. Right, gotcha. Oh, Mary look good. So this is where I decided to put the little things that I got today from um, Home Goods. Like I had told y'all in my empty house tour, this I believe was where they every single time, every time I pick up this camera, my phone goes off. Anyway, I think this is where they like had their TV down here and probably VCR and stuff up there or DVD player or whatever. But the, like I told you, this house was built in the late 90s. So that's what I think this was for, for a box TV. But um, so yeah, I just put that there. That's where I'm keeping all like my throw blankets. So if anyone wants to come sit on the couch, they can grab a blanket if they get cold. And then I just put that there. I was gonna, I also had bought this one. This one, once I put it up there, it was like doing too much. So I'll be, I'm, I'm taking that one back. Get my $20 back. So I think I had bought a, a few things from Dee Dee's, like clothing items, maybe like about eight things. So I'm about to try those on and see if they fit. If not, that'll be on my list of returns tomorrow. I need to wash my bed sheets real quick. And I have got to look for furniture tomorrow. I, it is the 23rd. And the last time I looked at furniture, I, was it before I even moved in? I don't know. I'm getting too comfortable with like small decorations around the house, rugs, pictures, stuff like that, where I'm still sleeping on a mattress on the ground and I still have all of my stuff that goes in drawers in boxes. So I gotta get it together. I, I, I gotta get it together. Like I need to have my bedroom set. I need to have the kids' bedroom set up. Like I have literally been slacking y'all and that is not good. I had told myself last week that I was gonna do this before my knee surgery. <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. That I was gonna get it taken care of before my knee surgery and I didn't. My knee surgery's in less than 48 hours. It's Wednesday night and it's Wednesday night and my knee surgery is 6 a.m. Friday morning. So I don't know how I let time get away from me. I do know procrastinating, doing other stuff that was meaningless. Let me check my phone because somebody about to piss me off. Let, let me, I'm, I'm going to talk to y'all in a second. Y'all look at these leggings. I'm trying all my stuff from Dee Dee's. Look at these leggings. They're the leggings that are supposed to like make your booty look. Y'all see how they're stitched in the back? How everything just goes into the booty crack? What y'all think about these? I think if they were a different color, they might be cute, but puke green? I don't know. But $6 at Dee Dee's, they're a size small. And y'all see how stretchy they are. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever pick these up to wear them. Like, the price is good. But will I ever pick up these green leggings and put them on and wear them somewhere? I, I, I don't know. I kind of want to get my six, my, well, my $7 back. They $6.99. My $7 back. So, I don't know. What y'all think? Just changed my sheets, about to get in the shower. And I lit a candle. Can you see right there, I lit a candle. It's my first time lighting a candle in this house. Y'all know I love candles, love candles. So just lit a candle, I'm about to take a shower. And I think I'm about to go to bed in the vlog because I need to make sure that I get up and actually do some furniture shopping tomorrow. Like. 
I'm like gonna beat myself up if I don't. So I haven't eaten any dinner. It is 11.30. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna go to bed on an empty stomach. I'm really not even hungry, so. Mm. All right, guys. Thanks for spending the last, how many days? Two, three? I think two. Yeah, two. All right, till next time. Bye.